Okay, this is what I've completed uh, from the project cups. I've had to glaze for my upcoming show, and since I have the buckets of glaze open, I decided that I would start glazing, and I think I've got 12 cups done already, and I can get about 30 cups per load. So, uh, yeah, only a few more to go, and I have another load, but I don't know if you can see on that table. I have to just clean the bottoms off of those pieces that are for the show, and um, then I'm going to fire those first, and possibly when that's done, I'm just going to load these up and fire these next. I'm on a glazing, I'm a glazing machine today. I thought I would add those, um, those sheets are actually covering my cups because my ceilings are made of metal. I don't know if I've ever even shown you my ceiling, not that it really is that exciting, but that's my ceiling, and that has a tendency to drop goodies on it through the night. If there's wind, it drops even more goodies, and you can even see the light shining through. So it's not the most uh, pottery-friendly situation. Got a lot of dust, but hey, I am so excited to have all this space, and I'm just really thankful. Okay, those are the two shelves. There, there aren't too many project cups. Actually, this cup right here uh, belongs to my daughter's boyfriend and he came over and he made himself a cup and he glazed it so we'll see how these all turn out hopefully nothing sticks and everything works out great and I'm looking forward to it okay here we go comb five comb five okay let's see what we got now if you remember the first row Wow! Which one do I like first? Oh, I just have to look at this Alex's. Uh oh, it's stuck to the bottom. But it still looks good. He did a good job on that. Just peeled off some kiln wash. <laughs> oh, this is a lid to a little pot I hand built. And that's also the, for, the pro, for the show. Look at that. Ooh, that one turned out nice. I always like my fern mist, no matter what I do to it. It just seems to work for me every time I put it in there. Still a little bit warm to touch. That one's kind of pretty inside. Fern mist on the inside. Chino. This one I was hoping to make it look kind of like a, a, a mountain scene. You know, like you have one color here and it's uneven. It just, I wanted it to flow like that. It looked like it did. It looks pretty good. Oh, I'm so excited. I, had, I hadn't wanted to use that celadon because it's been, it had been cracking, but I don't know what I've done differently. It seems it, it's still so far so good. Oh, I love that green with the Timbuku. <laughs> Yay, not too many cups this time, but it's going to be a quick kiln opening. Oh, that looks pretty nice. I just used the colors I had open for uh, the other things. That's the brown clay, right? Temoku does different things on brown clay. It even, the fern mist, oh, you can't see it. Oh, you can't see it. It's blue right here. The fern mist turns blue. That's slippery. That one's really hot. I'll show them in a bit. I pulled this one out finally, and I just had to share this with you. And then another one of my funky cups, but that glaze on there really looks nice. I do like this cup. Okay, I have to say, I love when this happens. Um, I put this glaze on, and I was dipping, and I can't recall what happened here, but I remember something happened, and I had to glaze over it again, but look at that. That is a, oh golly, can you see? That is a cool effect. I like it when it does special things I'm not expecting. I noticed there was some glaze missing here, but yeah, kind of. But usually, when you have one bucket open, you pick the ones you want to be that color, so it's you know time efficient, right? You're glazing everything all at once. That's a Temuku handle uh, dipped in the. And if you see that brown, this helps me to know. Okay, if I have uh, fern mist and I dip it. And Temuku, that's what color I'll get. These just these little connecting spots. I look at everything I make and see where's the connecting spot with a different glaze to see, all right, what's that official color of that those two mixed together?
This is my little flower. It's a little fern mist flower dipped in temaku. I, I like how it's modeling. It didn't used to do that. I mean, it was just a solid dark brown the last time I, uh, when I had used it prior to the project. But I really like how it does this blotchy effect. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to do, but I'm happy it does it. If I get a new bucket, I don't know if I'll be able to get the same look.